Roy Eats. Bradley presents What's the Topic? The following audio may contain coarse language and other materials that may not be for a younger audience. The opinions expressed in this audio are solely those of the speakers involved. These conversations may contain spoilers for current media such as games, comics, movies, television shows, and more. Grind Geeks makes no claim ownership of the various media discussed, simply the opinions expressed. Listener discretion is advised. Hey guys, I see you in the Facebook group, 1400 members strong. Be sure to bring yourself on over to YouTube. Hit that beautiful red subscribe button. Hit that like button on the videos and be sure to leave comments. Much appreciated. We need all the feedback we can get. Keep the page going strong. And be sure to check out our audio only content on anchor.fm slash Garner Geeks to redirect you to all these beautiful streaming services you see in front of you. Without further ado, we have What's the Topic? With the best and worst comic to movie adaptation. And as always, for all things comics, we got Tony. We got Will. We got everybody. The Marines are always here to talk comics. And I'm just here to run and to And to torture you. Ah, and you guys have done a phenomenal job throughout the years. Keeping me on my toes. Giving me plenty, plenty of shit. That's not be the nice way of saying it. How are we doing today, Tony? I'm good. Just sitting here. Waiting to hear this stupid shit come out of your mouth. Will, are you ready to wing it? <laughs> just absolutely wing this assignment? You have an assignment? See? <laughs> exactly. He is ready to go. He's on point. He's got everything that he watch. needs to do. Hey, Brent, watch this. Hey, Will, huh? if you come if you come with a good one, you get free crayons. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited now, folks. Boy, that smile. The tension like, yep, is palpable. <laughs> now he on the computer. <laughs> He's just doing some light research there. He's, he wants the big box. He wants the 100 crayon box. You get it, 120. Ooh, that's that's a deal and a half in of itself. But Grony Geeks, be sure to like this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to leave a comment with your thoughts and opinions on our list. Let us know how we did, who got the most right, which I'm sure Tony will comment multiple times that it was himself. So, we'll Not just... Comment on greatness. <laughs> Greatness is defined by everybody else around me. Exactly. So y'all are great. I'm great to her. Mm -hmm. So the real question is, for the, do we want to start with the bad? We want to start with the good. Let's start with the bad. Yeah, let's start with the bad. Let's get them shit out of the way. Will, since you were so eager to answer, oh. you're going to start this. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, teacher hates you. Teacher hates right. you. That's fine. That's fine. Freaking, I'll start off. Uh... I'm going to start off strong with uh, um, a Marvel movie. I figured that. Shocking. Yeah. Uh, put it plainly, all the Fantastic Four movies. Ooh. I'm, I'm just going to lump them all into one freaking up because they all were shit. They, they had potential. The first one like tried to do something and stuff like that, and then they just fell off from there. The that. first one was better than the third one. The first one was better than than all of them. So yeah, that freaking and just they were just bad with that. So uh, the the I'm gonna take a few shots at the acting and stuff like that. But I think it was more the directing than anything and stuff like that because I've seen some of these performers and other things and I know that they can't act so like that. So I think the direction wasn't the best that it could have been and stuff like that. Uh, I think that. For this being the the first family and stuff like that, um, I think we definitely needed a, a more grounded tone and stuff like that. And yep. It just seemed comical in, in itself, where nothing was really going right. It's constantly about freaking jokes and you know people you know losing clothes and stuff like that. It's just like you know this, it, I had no real investment in it. So all of them just gotta go. And the reboot didn't help at all. The reboot was just. That's just we're just gonna pick and choose so that and I love that Michael B. Jordan got a second shot to do something different and so like that. Oh, he nailed that like one. He was completely freaking wasted in that shit and so yeah, that stick, like stick with Killmonger, dude. Yeah, completely wasted. So yeah, uh, Fantastic Four, every single one of say, them. 
I had Fantastic Four on my list, <laughs> but I had the, the last one with Michael B. Jordan because that entire movie was waste. All of it. I watched 10 minutes first, of it and I turned it off. That's what I was, the first one you could argue that, okay, it was, it was solid for what it was. It was okay. The second one was Silver Surfer. Nah. They marketed it. so hard for that, for it to be so bad. Like, any channel you flipped it. it to, it was like, Rise of the Silver Surfer, Rise of the Silver nah. Surfer. I'm like, oh, and damn, he was watch, there. But damn. Yeah, he had one or two good scenes, but... Galactus. Yeah, Fucking Galactus. I didn't even want to speak that name, because that reminds me of another wasted character in another bad movie that we'll talk about, I'm sure. <sighs> so, but it's like, from top to bottom, the 2015 Fantastic Four was not so fantastic. It was heads and shoulders worse than the other. <sighs> I mean, could you? Can we think of one redeeming thing in the 2015 version? One redeeming one. thing in the 2015 version? It yeah. showed us that Michael B. Jordan can act. Maybe that's all we got. Like, I mean. Was there anything else relevant to it? I mean, think about it. Grant, ben Graham was a wasted character. What did he do significant in this movie? He was there. Except be a best friend. That's all he did. He was a best friend. I'll be there for you. Char what about character development? Did we have any of that? Nah. You had to have characters that mattered to have character development. <laughs> Where was the action? I might not be the Marvel kid like Will is. But I know Fantastic Four usually has a lot of action. In it. It's always packed, right? I don't, I don't know what to do with. Hey, this with Doom was shit. <laughs> this is the worst version of Doom ever. Oh God, ever. Doom! Doom is my favorite <laughs> See, Marvel villain. My favorite Marvel villain. That's you got him. And the way that they freaking go it is. in with freaking Doom, like Plastic the lightning disrespect bolt, man. was freaking real. Like hit, that origin no. story was shit. Doom, oh freaking Doom deserves freaking all of the all, all the freaking all the glory, all the the things of that. His own freaking origin, like Doom would need his own like how Disney has been doing, like freaking like because I just watched Cruella last night, finally the first time so that, and the movie was freaking great for what it was. But the fact that they're going and they're doing the villain side of things within the the Disney movies and stuff like that, like yo, again, I need more freaking like villain origins and stuff like that freaking and doom was like top candidate for me like we got a fantastic four movie coming it's on the free works with that give me something about doom like i need doom I, to be prevalent now i will say before he turned into doom when he was just victor in the lab that wasn't a bad portrayal i could get behind that i just wish that they would have kept that after doom and hype that that part up because it totally felt like, okay, now he's just throwing a, a bitch fit. That's all he was doing. Pretty much. Pretty and let's not much. talk about Johnny. Oh, Michael, I'm so sorry you had to play this character. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Well, as you're so eager to carry on the conversation, let's hear one of your bad movies, Tony. What do you get? Batman and Robin. There it is. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. I didn't say anything about that one because I knew it. You knew. There. Let me tell you something. Real Batman fans do not mention this movie. It hurts too much. George, when when we when they cast George uh, George Clooney as Batman, we was like, "Oh, okay, this might actually be good," and we were lied to. So bad. Bat nipples. That's all we got. <laughs> For real. So he's just excited to be Batman. Like, waste of how many characters they waste? Bang, Ivy, Freeze. All I of did, them got wasted. All I did of not them. like Alicia Silverstone at all. She was bad. first. She talks like she talks like this. No, I can't get. And then she's. Alfred's niece. So you just go ahead and say, you know, fuck her backstory. And then she makes, she turns into Batgirl and just. Yeah, I'm not with none of it. So 
it's still an argument between me who's the worst Batman, Kilmer or Clooney. And who had the worst movie, Kilmer or Clooney. I'm still saying Clooney, Batman, or Robert. Worst. <laughs> and it's just, I can't think of one redeemable quality about this movie. Alfred was probably the best character in the movie. Toy sales. I think toy sales were popular. I think that, I think that was about the only thing that freaking <laughs> they were good really at. alive. Because they had a lot of variety of nah, toys, suits nah. and stuff. Alfred was the best character in the entire movie. <sighs> so, I see your Fantastic Four and I raise your Batman and Robin. <laughs> I see both of your movies. Uh-oh. I got one to raise on both of y'all, though. And I will attempt to raise... Okay. With the Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, that was dog shit. Absolute dog shit. And Will, you're going to hate it. Three. Say three. (laughs) Iron Man 3. With the biggest middle (laughs) finger you could have given to any true fans of the comics. I knew it. I knew it. I predicted All you have to do is say (laughs) one word to true Iron Man fans with that involving the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And they're mad. Mandarin. All you have to say. And it was just the absolute worst thing you could have done to such a premier Iron Man villain throughout the ages to do literally nothing and be like, yep, this was a TV act. I don't know what to tell you, man. You wasted a great actor playing the Mandalorian. I mean the Mandarin. I'm sorry, because I'm thinking of my boy right now. Yeah. I'm waiting for the new season. Playing the Mandarin. Wasted. Wasted, but no. <laughs> Will's just casually quiet, just like, because you didn't have to try- cut me like this. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's kind of upset. But no, your but movie's still not as fast as This is what it is. Like, for. The Mandarin was just... God. Trash. And then... Trash. And then Tony Stark has to be saved by Pepper Potts? What? Come on, man. There was, there yeah. was just so well, you much got to say about bad Iron Man I'm just waiting. There. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was one of the Will, worst movies I've seen? ever seen, and I was so hyped because Iron Man 1 was great. 2 was eh. Like, it didn't two hate was, it, didn't love it. 2 was middle of the road. But and three then was 3 there. happened, you're like... Can we go back to 1? Yeah, it's like one was phenomenal. Like this is what kicked off the universe. Now we're here. Mm-mm. Who's in charge of this show? Warner Brothers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I have said my piece. I hated the Mandarin. I hated how to be saved by Pepper Potts. That movie was dog shit. Yep. There it is. Look, Iron Man three was not as bad as you say it is. That's a lie. Right? I'm not finished, Tony. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Iron Man 3 is not as bad as you say it is because we all know that I'm a big Iron Man fan, so like that. All right? This thing was far worse. All right? <laughs> far worse. Just for the simple fact that everything that freaking was put into building on Tony Stark, freaking the Cassie, everything was freaking perfect and stuff like that. And again, you give us a haphazard freaking uh, villain. Like you bring in, like there's so many things. All right, you bring in AIM and stuff like that. AIM is a formidable adversary and stuff like that. They got a lot of stuff going on with Scientist Supreme, Graviton, all that kind of stuff. Like you set up for a lot of that stuff and then it just kind of trails on from there. Like I said, you can literally, that like that's an entire rival organization that freaking can have their hand in so many different things so that it's set up for other stuff within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The the Mandarin and stuff like that. And granted, I'm not they they tried to do damage control within the movie. It did work, but they tried to do damage control where freaking, you know, oh freaking this guy was a was a ploy and stuff like that. And then, you know, Hey, I am the Mandarin, so that and it's like that's you, like you, you tried to fix it when you said that Slattery was was acting and doing stuff. You tried to do something. It's like, okay, so here it goes. Oh, I am the Mandarin. Like you ain't shit. Like shut up. And so that like it 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 killed it. And so like that like you were trying to do something, 
to fix it, and you sat there and you shot yourself in the other foot. So that so now you 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 legless pooch walking around here like literally it's it's just not freaking good. The fact that Pepper Potts had got the whole extremist you know type angle and stuff going on and all this stuff put in and this is another thing that I don't like so that is when you do that reversal shit. Don't do something to a character and so like that that makes them extraordinary and so like that and then reverse it freaking by the time the next movie comes out or let's let's wrap this up with a nice bow oh we'll get that out of you and we'll fix it so in the movie she's all good she feels better and now she's completely fucking useless again it's like you get you you yeah you, you had a chance to freaking to really give us you know something like going in with rescue and stuff like that and like we got rescue in game i'm happy like i'm so happy we got rescue i was hyped when she showed up but you could have gave us some more of that here and kind of set the stage a bit better. Like you didn't need to have her with the powers to come save Tony and stuff like that, unless she started donning the suit to do something to assist. And so with that, you don't handicap Iron Man like that. He does he's too smart to be handicapped like that. And so with that, like I'm gonna go off on a tangent here. Look, the you movie was the, the the movie is is oh, far worse than what it should have been. And so with that. So yes, it's a good pick. It's all it's on my list and stuff like that. Freaking so, yeah. I'm just surprised this, we have a list. But right we're going to throw a curveball here. We say crayons, he made a list. Yep. We just made bad right. movie picks. Here's one of your good ones, Will. Oh. My good ones? I mean, we can stay on the same category and so that. We can say Iron Man 1 and so that, that. The first one. All right. The first one was fantastic for what it was for that. You got to remember, I said... The movies and stuff, and I'm not going to say this, there's, there's other movies that set the stage and stuff like that for Marvel Blade. to really be in cinema and stuff like that. Freaking, Blade. Um, so that I was leaving it off in case anybody had it on their list. So that, but Blade set the stage and stuff like that for uh, what we know to be the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like they're, they're, they're the first one that was really successful. So with that, now we've had, um, like I said, movies before, you got Punisher with, with Dolph Lundgren and stuff like that, which one of the first Marvel movies that I've watched. So with that, Mm-hmm. Again, those movies were done before. That's like that. The, uh, old the original Doctor Strange, the old school Doctor Strange, the freaking like setting up freaking the uh, the, the original Hulk, the Hulk like Thor that. one. Yeah, I forgot about that. There's a lot of freaking movies and stuff <laughs> that Marvel has done. It's like that. So the fact that freaking Iron Man had a freaking had to really set a precedence for what the MCU needed to become and stuff like that, it come out the gate strong. It's like that. Freaking, especially compared to the other movies that have been coming out, the Spider-Man and all that kind of stuff, they did a great job casting, freaking, you know, Tony Stark's portrayal, so like that, everything was spot on, so like that, and again, everything from there built up to what we know as the MCU, so Iron Man 1. Tony, here's the good one. Well, I'm going to go way back. Oh, you're not even going to take the one I thought you were going to continue. No, 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 no. I I need to give this one love because not a lot of people know about it. A lot of, like, the movie came out in 1983, but the book came out in 1962. You and your old stuff. Something Wicked This Way Comes. This is a movie that I recommend people watch. It's about a traveling carnival. And the leader is named Mr. Dark, and he's played by Jonathan Price. I don't know if you know your actors, but he is, well, was one of the solid actors of his time. And it's a carnival, just walking around, and he gives you your greatest desire. But of course, your greatest desire always backfires, and it turns into your greatest sin. And once it envelops you, you become part of his carnival as a freak. So it literally goes through, and it, and it is a Disney movie, and it is the darkest Disney movie ever. That's Bradbury, right? Yes, Ray Bradbury is the author. This movie is 100% to the book. If you read the book and watch the movie, it is exactly the same. It's the same tone. It's the same characters. It is it is great when I when I saw the movie and I found out it was a book of course I was younger back then I was like oh let me go read it and I was like damn did I just watch the movie again what is this so I recommend 
And you know how I am about my movies. I'm very serious about my movies. If I recommend it, it's something you might need to watch. It's something with you, this way it comes. Because you mess around with a lot of things, but you do not mess around with your movies. I don't. I don't play with my movies. Yeah. I've, I've hey, read two, two books by freaking Bradbury. I know Bradbury the, the is, Illustrated Man and Fahrenheit uh, 451. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fahrenheit 451 is a good book. Yeah, but no, 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 no. They don't, they do not compare to something with you this way, comes. I'll put it to like this that movie I will put against any movie today as far as plot and character developments. Any movie. Hmm. You're going to watch it. And I, now, when you do watch it, you must remind yourself. This is the early 80s. Mm -hmm. So don't expect all this CGI don't ex special don't graphic expect, stuff. It just it is like when is. he when he pulling books out the, like he has his book and he's pulling paper out and shit turn into fire. Hey, take it for what it is. <laughs> it's 83. <laughs> this ain't shit. It's like Johnny Storm on your page. No, nah, no, nah, it looks like his hand is glowing. It's so just just remember that. You gotta put yourself in that mindset. Got it. But something with you this way comes. Hmm. For me, I'm going to go a little bit outside the box of what I usually pick. Oh, my God. Tony oh knows God, exactly what I want to pick. But I'm I leaving do. you that one because I know how much justice you will do for that. I'm not going to get there. No, I'm not taking it. I'm going to start off with Hellboy. I'm talking Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman, Perlman. Hellboy. Not the, not the new one. Not the new one. I tried to watch that. I couldn't do it. <laughs> no. I couldn't do it. Without Ron Perlman as Hellboy, it just didn't... It felt disingenuous, and Ron Perlman was advocating that they do a third so that they could just complete the trilogy. The movie was absolutely rock solid. It was yes. about as close to comic to movie as you can get within that sort of universe without having any major changes. I mean, there's something super badass about like this demon child just fighting Nazis and saving the world from monsters all the time on the regular. And then, you know, he gets to fight the underworld and, like, the head of the vampires. Like, I mean, Hellboy was really, really exciting and almost criminally underrated, I felt. Like, not enough people gave it as much credit as it should have had, and it really showed just how good a director Guillermo del Toro can be when you yep. just be like, all right, here's the concept, run with it. And then he builds this beautiful, beautiful universe and everything looked like it belonged. Everything felt like it had a place. The story was solid. The action was good. The comedy was there. Like, it was a good movie. It's like, I started reading the Hellboy comics because I saw the movie. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, we good. Started reading through it. Pretty dang close. And I was very, very happy with it. And Ron Perlman really brought that character to life in a way that I just... I wasn't expecting to be brought to life that way. and I was, I was very, very happy. So Hellboy would make one of my recommendation lists as far as best comic to movie adaptations. That is a very, very solid pick. Will, what have you got for a bad comic? Oh, he's going to just go back and forth. All right, dude. Keep him on the toes. So you're not, you're uh, not nah, I'm about to go with. Gotta go. I mentioned earlier, so the 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 original. I won't say the original. The the Hulk with uh, oh boy, with the the Hulk with the dogs. Okay, them goddamn <laughs> fucking dogs. Goddamn. I, I, I forgot the the actor's name because I mean, his portrayal was so fucking. It went here. It was the uh, the fuck was it? Oh, You're talking about the early two thousands ones, the ones right before they got ruffled. No, I'm talking about the one with uh, Eric Bana. Eric Bana, him. Yeah. Oof. And not Norton. No, not Norton. Norton's okay. fine. So Eric Bana, that one fucking sucked. Okay. Hulk was not freaking just not fun. It's about like that freaking. We didn't get freaking Hulk's. Like the real, I didn't really feel the rage that Hulk was supposed to have. So with that, like I got in Edward Norton's portrayal. So with that, like I, I got Hulk. Freaking, I got freaking excited when freaking Hulk was like going to work and stuff like that and doing his thing. This one here, so with that, he felt so weak. He felt so freaking just disheveled and stuff like that. And you remember, Hulk is you know, as uh, uh, pretty much like you know the the mind split. It's like it's, it's like you know they they share 
everything so like that, but Hulk has his own personality and so like that. And it's like I felt like it was the same person trying to be. It's like if you had Professor Hulk, but on the low end, like this this is what you get. Freaking this the is the version discount. of Professor it, this, Hulk. this is what it is. It was freaking completely garbage. Them goddamn stupid ass CGI big ass dogs versus enemies fighting like that. Like how many enemies you have to pull from in the Marvel freaking universe with that? And you make him fight a giant fucking poodle? Like, nah, I'm good. Fuck mm-hmm. that movie. Somebody upset. Somebody is really, really bad about he's, this. He's talking a lot about Marvel. Tony, bad movie. Well, since Will is going to stick to Marvel, I'm going to stick to DC. Oh, you have movies aplenty. And I'm going to say one word. And I'm not going to have to describe anything else about this movie. Just one word. Steel. <laughs> I don't have to next. I don't have to say I don't have to say nothing about this movie. This arguably is one of the worst movies ever made. Not just comic books. Movie in general ever made. Shat. You're a great basketball player, Hall of Fame basketball player. Don't ever try to act because you came up with another movie and that shit wasn't good either. The costume, garbage. The storyline, garbage. Everything in this movie, garbage. You can literally say nothing good about Steel. Nothing. That's all I got. Don't need to say nothing else about it. No, as it you nail on the head. I, it that up. is the worst. No, no, I got one movie maybe that can that can be as bad as this movie, but still is the worst kind of movie ever. <sighs> it's like ET the video game was the worst video game ever made. Still is the worst comic book adaptation movie ever. For me, I'm going to go a little bit off the beaten path of where you guys are at. But also, it's completely within my alley. Anime? No. Star Wars? Absolutely. I, I, the newest trilogy in all of its entirety was okay. putrid and an abomination. Yes, Tony? I don't, I don't know which one is the newest because I stopped watching after the Anakin saga. Is it... It, it was like the two Force Awakens to the Last Jedi was well, to the Last Jedi, the Last Skywalker. Is that the one with Ray? That's yes. the one with Ray. All three and are Kylo. trash. Absolutely. So garbage. it was only three with them. Is it one after that? One? No, it's just three. Okay, so it's yeah. nine movies. Yep, they okay, made a whole so trilogy. The whole trilogy of Boo Boo, like it, it was bad. Yeah, I didn't see the last. I didn't see the last. If you want to hurt yourself, watch them. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. They had such good. Extended universe lore by this time, they had absolutely no reason to make these characters as poor as what Tony is. This the one with Luke was drinking that monster's titty milk. I wasn't even gonna try and talk about that, <laughs> but that's that's where he was all up on some alien titties, just living his best life. <sighs> Mark Hamill, just I love him, I love Mark Hamill. But God, sorry. everything they did help. to him, the disrespect that was leveled <sighs> to this man, Kylo's whiny teenage angst was somehow worse than Hayden Christensen in the, the trilogy before. It was like, God, how did you guys, after all this time, provide such a piss poor product, which fan servicing, but at the same time, you guys knew exactly what everybody wanted. Everybody wanted an African-American character to be in a prominent role of power. But you know what you did to him? You made everyone believe he was gay. After you led us to believe he was going to be a Jedi. That was Finn. Yeah, but why would you do this? Why even introduce him if you know you're just going to throw him away? Oh, that's right. You only cared about ticket sales and how much money you're making because you wanted to make the bang for your buck because you just bought Star Wars and it was Disney's new shiny toy that they just horribly, horribly misused. 
all three movies with such an extended universe, with such good back lore, and such good writers behind the scenes to put out this kind of shit product sucks. That t-shirt on your left, Tony, of The Mandalorian is the only thing that's holding Star Wars up right now. I love that show. There is very little to hold up that universe. So, for me, Star Wars Last Trilogy, shit. I came out of Force Awakens really excited, and Samuel Fouch, I was very excited after that movie of where they're going. And they just went off a cliff, and they fell off another cliff, and then they got impaled by spikes. It was, it was dog shit. So, fatality. Fatality. <sighs> well, you seem very passionate about that. If for those that don't know, Brent is the Star Wars fanatic. I don't even think fanatic covers what he actually is about this. Kind of like I love DC. Will loves Iron Man. Yeah, that's Brent and Star Wars. Anything and everything Star Wars, it better be right because he's gonna be mad. About Yes, I have, I have many reasons to be mad about it, and they gave me as many as they possibly could. It's like, all right, sit on this, and I have to sit and wait till we get something good. But hey, we got Baby Yoda. We're going in the right direction. So Will, like, uh, give me a good uh, movie Yoda. before I end up on a tangent. No, Will has something to say. No, no, we, he, he, we're good. We're good there. We're good. <laughs> all right, good movie. Um, all right. Um, uh, Stray away here, and I'm gonna go with Scott Pilgrim. I really enjoyed list. Scott Pilgrim. So that, all right, Scott Pilgrim was a fun movie, fantastical. So like that freaking that's it. It was no, you know, superheroes. It was no like you know, class of, it was literally freaking just you know, a guy trying to you know trying to talk to a girl and stuff like that. And you know, it just became really fun with all the video game references, the crazy soundtrack, which was freaking awesomely good. You know, and this is where, you know, I really, the first time I've ever seen freaking the the soon-to-be freaking, you know, Superman with Brandon Routh, freaking and Captain Marvel, freaking uh, Brie Larson, Captain, Captain America, like, they were all in these these movies before, so about that, so, uh, really fun, uh, the series is good, I have the series sitting on my shelf over there and stuff as well, so with that, uh, so definitely a good movie to watch, really fun, so, yes. Tell me. I knew I knew somebody was gonna say that one, so I didn't want to say it. But I have some I can choose from, but I it's it's one that I really like. Pick the one that starts with this letter. Come on, no, I know you want no, to. no. Okay. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna say my best movie is Watchmen. That was all I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> you knew I had to do it. You knew I had to do Watchmen. It was a damn good movie. Watchmen was it, fantastic. It, it was. And again, certain people didn't have it in their top 25. IGN. Uh, comic book movies of all time. I would have argued it would have been top 10, but that's just me. I'm ar- I argue that it's top two. All day, every day. The characters in the movie, exactly in the book. The storyline in the movie, exactly in the book. <laughs> everything, everything was exact. You could literally watch the movie and you would think that you're watching uh, pre-production storyboards. That's exactly what they used. The death of Rorschach happened the exact same way. Oh, everything. <laughs> and the thing about Rorschach, he, his character was so spot on that it made you root for him because he was the little guy. But the only thing he wanted was the truth. That's all he wanted. Everything he, you're going to tell him the truth. If you did something wrong, he's going to kill you. Like when he got the, the dude with the dogs and he fucked that dude up. Oh, yeah. I was, I was like, yeah, I would do some shit like that too. Um, the comedian and how they raped his, uh, his rape that he did it happened in the book. Everything was there. So this, this to me was a close second behind something wicked this way comes as as story goes and the adaptation of the story it was pretty much just because i ex- since i saw something wicked first 
that has to be my one. I enjoyed both. But today's Watchmen, you gotta put it, you gotta put it up. There's there's nothing bad can be said about this movie. The costumes, exactly the same. They were all comic book accurate. It wasn't, you know, back nipples or none of that stupid shit, back credit cards, none of that. It was it was spot on. So that's my Watchmen. You made me say it. You knew I was gonna say it, and mm-hmm. I hate your life. I had it on the list, but I had it low enough that you had plenty of time to get out what you needed to get out because that movie was stupid good. And Jeffrey Dean Morgan, please come back as Batman's dad. That's all I ask. Thomas Wayne, Look, give it to me. It's it's only a couple Alternate movies that, that I consider rewatchable, and this is one of them. I could sit down and watch this over and over nonstop. Yeah. Iron Man 3 is not one of them. <laughs> Unnecessary shock off the battle. Without further ado, I'll Aim get right it. here. Just just <laughs> put a knife right here. Hey, but y'all want to know how much me and Will are like? You want to know scary? I noticed, and I was doing something. Will was doing the exact same thing. Fidget spinning. Man, <laughs> Between you two and Sam, I don't know who is the worst in Groaning Geeks for fidget spinners. Hey, look. His is the one is that bad. always picks up audio. Look, his is Iron Man. Mine is Batman colors. I mean, it is like. Children. I'm going to get my last one out the way and then we'll start wrapping the video as we've gone 36 minutes in already. We okay. talked a good length of time about a lot of stuff and we'll still be able to save a couple more for another day or we could leave them in the comments ourselves, which the fans should also be doing. Um, my mo- next movie is something that the actor himself was hyping and trying to get this train rolling forever he wanted to be this character above all else sandman deadpool okay ryan reynolds pitched so hard in order to make this character a reality he knew in his heart he wanted to be this role after that first bullshit role he was in and then he came back and he nailed it Deadpool 1 is probably one of my favorite movies like I have seen comically, period. Ryan Reynolds nailed the role. The, all the comedy was there. There were still serious moments there. The plot was as good as it needed to be for, you know, a set-up film for everything that he had going on. I was like, there was stuff about this, yeah, you could pick apart. But at the same time, Ryan Reynolds comic to movie adaptation was as close as you're going to get to having an absolutely continuous and seamless thing because I couldn't honestly see anybody else portraying Deadpool this way or this accurately in a live action remake and man I absolutely love this movie I can I can get behind that but I'm going to say something very very controversial I mean it's my nature me not. When are, when are, where's the surprise that we're supposed to have? Ryan Reynolds is a Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves with comedy, comedy. That's all he is. That's his acting skills. He made a he's solid career out of it. He's, he's a solid mind. method actor, as Deadpool he's, would say. He, he's. <laughs> if Here's you watch, it. if you watch all of his uh, movies that Ryan Reynolds been in, it's been Deadpool. That's uh, that's what I was gonna get at for that. Like, <laughs> I I think Sorry. that freaking Ryan Reynolds <laughs> is Deadpool. Like, I don't think that there is really any acting involved. Like, he's I think he's literally just being himself. I, I like agree that. with and, that, and, and it fits so well. That's about that, and that's one of the reasons why I freaking yeah. Like, out of everybody in the Marvel universe who's cast in their roles, it's about that freaking I got Robert Downey Jr. as number one as far as you know playing his roles with that, and I got Ryan Reynolds as number two. Just because he actually he they, they both fit their roles to a T, they just do it in different ways. One's he's a method a actor, actor, and one's one, one's just being him. <laughs> he's not a good actor though. Again, he's not acting. He's just being him on camera. That, that's all I, it is. I made my statement. He's you only saying he's a bad actor because you saw that bad taste of Green Lantern in your mouth. No, no, no. It ain't got shit to do with Green Lantern. That ain't got shit to do with Green. He because is a bad actor. Go he's watch great Free Guy. Deadpool. It's it's dead. It's Deadpool. 
go watch Free Guy and stuff like it's that. It's, it's literally freaking like the the same shit and stuff like that. And the thing is, I love it. Like I don't care. Like I still enjoy it. I still enjoy the work that he does and stuff like that. But I know when I go to watch freaking Ryan Reynolds and stuff like that, you're gonna get this that. is what I'm watching. Like I'm going to like watch Ryan. You're gonna when you're going to watch Keanu Reeves in any movie, it's deadpan. That's all it is. He has no acting. He lost all his acting skills after Bill and Ted. <laughs> all the other movies he's been in, Point Break, Neo, the same character. This is it. He knew what to expect, and he always got it. Yep. So I'm not hating on the pick as Deadpool because, yes, he is Deadpool, but he's a shit actor. Sometimes he'd be a shit actor in the perfect role. He's not Nicolas Cage shit, though. He's not Nicolas Cage shit. Oh, God, the Ghost Riders. Fucking hell. (laughs) Oh, now before we end up down the deep, deep tangent roll. No, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. (laughs) Ghost Riders suck. Electra sucked. Dark Phoenix sucked. TMNT 2014 fucking sucked. I knew it. I got him. No, you got there's, 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 there's a, a fuck ton video. of shitty goddamn movies and stuff like that. Freaking Catwoman. Catwoman sucked. I just said I beat you to it, fucker. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh yeah, yeah, freaking X Men. Anything sucks. Any, hey, hey, goddamn X Two was shit. <laughs> there we go. Goddamn only thing you had was night. All thing you had was night. Night. Wait, uh. I can't even think because that shit was so fucking bad. Freaking oh, Punisher, Nightcrawler, fucking Punisher. With Which Lundgren? one? Shit. You can put them both in there. I don't give a shit. All three of them. Dolph Lundgren too. So, huh? oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck there's that. there's a lot of bad movies out there. There's All Green Lantern. Movies. Green Lantern. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, that gave, I saw Blake Lively, so like that was the only thing about that movie. I was like, yeah, this is nice. But you know, this is what it is. Um. Grony Geeks, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Be sure to Wait, drop a like on, on bad. this video. We can't end on bad movies. We, gotta get people we ended bad. on bad movies. We can't. We we, we already can't. did it. We're good to go. No, and no. Sin City. Go see Sin City. Combo guy. Uh, anyway, yeah. while we have everything yeah. else going on there, be sure to drop a like. Be sure to hit the subscribe. Drop your comments. Let us know what we got right, what we got wrong, what you agree with, what you disagree with, which will be something I probably said but that's fine. I appreciate those comments anyway. It's always what you say, bro. Without any further ado, Tony, is there something you would mm-hmm. like to say for the folks? I would like to say all of you.